Good early, early morning, everyone. T Speaker, 222 XRP, Future Millionaire with Simon X, Solomon, Future, Digibyte OG. So, as you guys know, I just did a long ass live stream, but I'm going to break it down for everybody who's here because we had a lot of people on the live stream. So, a lot of smart people in my audience. I got to tell you what, fucking hey, guys. Before I go any farther, I'm not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice? No motherfucking way you should, but if you do, well, that's up to you. That's not, you know, you're grown ass adults. You can do what you got to do. So, basically, you got two things to look at. If Bitcoin does not hold 38000 and I'm not going to say I was right because, yeah, we've called this crash for a long fucking time, but we got some other things to talk about so that we can make sure we're on the same motherfucking page so we know what the fuck we're doing. And I don't want you guys to miss out on shit because you're hoping for the... The Hail Mary that we're all hoping for at 78 cents with XRP, but we got to be logical so we know what the fuck's up. These are your levels with Bitcoin. I called 35,000 when it was at 64,000. At this point, if it bounced up and went up, I would say I was ready. It's $30,000 down almost. 28,000, 26 from what I said. I think Bitcoin's going to 32. Minimum. I, maybe not right now. Maybe we're going to get a pullback, but I'm saying at some point, I think Bitcoin's got to go farther down. With that being said, so I'm just going to put it out there right now. I'm going to put these price targets out there so you guys can't tell me later, and I've already done it, but I'm going to do it again. Bitcoin, and it doesn't seem as good now, obviously, but I think Bitcoin, a conservative price target, if it does break below, is 32000 with possible low end at 28000 But does it ever get there? I don't know because there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes that a lot of people are not aware of. XRP. Oh, I gotta go to my other XRP page because that is fucked up. XRP is either going down if these scenarios play out. There's always the if because all these institutions can pour in volume and then it's over. So I said it's not bad to get XRP at any of the buy-in levels. This is a technical buy-in level. But I think conservatively, one, you know, 18, like I said, that's upper. Do we have the chance to go to 0.78? Yes, but there's a lot of things that have happened. There might have been an invalidation of the pattern along the way to where we will only come down this far. Institutions may never let it get down to this far again with all the shit that's going on. So if you see it at 118 and you don't buy it, it's not on me, it's on you. And if you're not buying it at every one of these levels I keep telling you about, even right now is $1.44. Some of you wanted to buy it at $1.70. Why aren't you buying it at $1.44? We go over this all the time. So yeah, we're waiting for a Hail Mary to pack our bags, but don't forget to put anything in the bags. And the like one, I've already told you, Guys, the realistic probability, we've got the line down here for a reason. That's a good firm price target. I don't think it's going much lower than that with Bitcoin. I said, yeah, sure, 222 for show purposes. And then there was the 190. But I think 230 is a firm price target. But if it, obviously if things crash a little more, sure, it can go down to 220. Zill, I thought a great price target. I've got it down here at 11 cents. I think that's, a, that's in play. Assuming shit hits the fan. These are my targets for uh, fucking, I think, five sevens in play. If shit hit the fan, but I think it's more logical we get seven cents. I called eight cents. For the beginning, and then I said we're probably going to get back to seven or six cents. But my ultimate price target was point zero five seven nine. Was if we could get lucky, but you'd be a fool not to buy it when it gets at you know. I already said when it gets to eight cents or lower, we should be buying it. But I'm waiting to see if we get this ultimate collapse. My guy in the live stream, I'm doing the XLM for you. You asked if we can get to 0.38. Only if XRP gets down to 78 cents, but I'm not so sure that's ever going to happen, you know? I know 118 is going to happen if we dip farther. 
If Bitcoin breaks 38,000, that's always been the key. If Bitcoin can get lower than 38,000. Right now, we're cheap as fuck. You just seen XLM at 77 cents. So why are you guys not buying at 56 cents? That's my question. Forget trying to wait. This is $560 for 1,000 shares. So why not stuff a couple thousand in there and see if it goes down? But right now, it looks like these lines are being used as resistance, not support. I'm trying to find a way to bring this new line down to reap. Well, well, we'll just see, but... I think conservatively, if we make that drop, XLM can hit 50 cents, 46 cents. Will it ever hit 38 cents? That's that's a dream. But I think 48 cents is on the table, no doubt. It's the same thing with H bar. You know, I think H bar, 18 cents is on the table in a true collapse scenario. But it would have to be a class. But guys, I gotta go. I gotta go to bed. It's late. I wanna end with one thing. Sunny days are here again. Oh, what a day. Oh, sunny days. I wear glasses cause I can't see a motherfucking thing. Oh, happy day. Oh, what a day. Oh, happy days. XRP will reign supreme again one day. Don't forget about DGB and XLM and that shit coin. Those. Stay blessed, stay true. If you want to join Tom's Army for $9.99 a month and become part of the exclusive and elusive T fam. Get that exclusive and elusive team fan badge. Oh, yes. And be the most talked about guy on YouTube. I kid you not. You'll be even more talked about than, uh, you know, the wrong guys douching each other. So stay blessed, guys. If you want to donate, links in the description as always. Appreciate it all. Have a good night.